Hello again, we will talk about buffer tanks design. We have this system, we have chillers and pumps, and this system is responsible for the cooling of a data center, which is located here in this area. Part of the design is to have buffer tanks that will be filled with cold water all the time, and they will be used in case of shutdown or in case of emergency. The case is to design these tanks to supply the system with water, and the temperature of this water should be 60 degrees Celsius, while the entering water to the tanks will be 24 degrees. Here, you will have some water getting into the system, and the temperature will be 24, and by the end of a 5 minute period, you want the outlet of this tank to supply water with 16 degrees temperature. So, for the sizing of the tanks, some people use this equation and the problem with this equation is that it doesn't take into account the shape of the tank so the designers calculated the volume of the tank and they said we can have such a tank now in this simulation we will see two cases the first one with this tank and we will see the temperature distribution over time and we will see the other case which is this one and we will see the difference in temperature distribution between both cases. So if we go back to the first case, and this is the proposed design, as you can see here, we have entering water, and the temperature is 24, and here we have the outlet, which is 16. And this is the beginning of the analysis. I just took 20 seconds just to speed up the process. That's why we don't have everything in a blue, because this analysis starts 20 seconds after the 24 degrees water starts to get in. So with time, we will have this distribution. And by the end of the five minutes, which is 300 seconds, you can see that we have many temperatures on the outlet. Here in the bottom, we have 17.25. And here we have around 20. 0.5, which means we don't have 16 while if you come here to this corner of the tank we have 16.2 and this is not a good distribution because you don't take the best of this tank and the main reason behind that is the shape of the tank now the other case which solved the problem here as you can see we have the second case where the time is zero and up to 300 where we start at time 0 and end up with time 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes. So now with time passing, we have this distribution. And as you can see, by the end of the analysis, we still have 16 degrees even here, and it's not on the outlet, which means in this case, we have better temperature distribution. And still, we have the same volume of water, but the distribution is different. It's obvious that in this case, we have better temperature distribution. And this definitely shows why the change of the shape of the tank can solve the problem without the need to increase the volume of the tank. Now, about the conditions we have. We have this inlet volume flow. And we have the same on the outlet and if we see the other design we have the same conditions now the overall volume of this tank is around 49 cubic meters and here if we go back to the original model you can see that this height is 3,900, while we have this circle of 4,000 millimeters, which is 4 meters. So the volume of this cylinder is around 49 cubic meters. And if we go back to the other design, here we have a base of 2,500. And the height is 5,000. If you calculate the volume of the cylinder and add it to this one, you will end up with around 49. 
If you are interested in the analysis, it's very important to run a time-dependent analysis. And if you right-click here and go to General Settings, you can select Time-dependent. If this is selected, you need to right-click here once again and go to Calculation Control Options. And from Saving, it's very important to activate Periodic. And after defining this, you need to run the analysis once again. And this will give you the option to have this time bar. And then you need to right click here on the results and select a transient explorer. And here you will have this time bar so you can control the time and you can take the readings of any second you want over the time period you already defined. About defining the time period, you can go back to Calculation Control Options. And here, for the physical time, you can define a number of seconds. So this shows how it's very important to consider the shape of the tank when designing a buffer tank. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.